come first before God? Yeah, that comes first before God because it's a different mindset. It's a different consciousness that you begin to get into. So when you get into that faith realm, that's when eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard the things in good that God, the, the Bible talked about. Really, you really want all the blessings and none of the curses. You want all of the blessings. As a matter of fact, at this moment, even if then on the, you know, for those that catch it on the replay part or download it and things of that nature, I want you to watch this. You'd be able to, uh, to pray this prayer to God. I'm going to teach you if you've never known how to do it. The first thing that he taught the disciples was the Lord's Prayer. And so the Lord's Prayer would be your prayer, you know, and that prayer was our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses that we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power, and most importantly, it is his glory that that he's taught you this. And then another part said depth and depthers in there. So depending on which translation of the KJV you got or a different translation, it may say it a worded a little different. But regardless, it still has a particular point in there uh, where you can get uh, the full manifestation of the uh, blessings of God. And so uh, I tell you. Uh, uh, people of God and those who have not yet fully recognized that uh, that they belong to God, that He has so much in store for you. He said He prepared a mansion for you. I mean, a mansion is a place that has many rooms for you. Your eyes haven't conceived, and it's not just for one particular person. He's no respect to persons. And one of the other things that I wanted to get to, you know, a lot of people get jealous on this particular part when it comes to pre- preachers, and I want to clear that up with you. I used to think that a long time ago, too, because of people who were uh, a little jealous and envious of those that had the gift of healing and faith. Because let me tell you something, when you do the works of the him who sent you while it is day and he rewards you, then guess what? Folks, go and get jealous because it was him that gave it to you. If you work it for him, okay, if the gift of faith, if, if first and foremost, what my scripture was, was this. It's this scripture that that's, that that um, knock every devil in hell out did with what you have. Oh God, I say people are going to want to connect. They gonna want. They know that if it's in your hands, it's gonna multiply. See, that's what my prayer is. That God begin to send people. That will begin to bless me. And as he adds to them. That as they begin to sow into my life. And righteously. That God will multiply their monetary uh, other gifts a hundredfold. I'm talking about a hundred times over what they gave. And when they do, they'll begin to receive a harvest that they've never expected. Eyes haven't seen. I've actually got out in the public and I didn't do a television revival, no telethon. But I went out to the community and I prophesied to people face to face. And I told them what God said. I said, I, I particularly told them. And when it was when I was in the right spirit, too, you know, you got to be in the right spirit when you're doing that. You can't be doing nothing else, thinking no other thoughts or nothing. But I told them the Lord show me that the gift that you gave the little that that's worth because you gave it to me. And I will say that to them people, even to this day, that the gift that they bless me with will multiply. It's about to multiply. I'm talking about 20 times, 20 times, 20 times, 20 times, a thousand times, a million. It 
it's about to get them to the point that they ain't gonna they gonna be so wealthy that they'll never see the place they ever been in ever again. I'm talking about I ain't talking about to the point where they disappear and vanish or nothing like that. I'm talking about to the point that they <laughs> that they get blessed over thirty times, thirty times, thirty. They going the blessings of the Lord gonna make rich. I'm telling you, it, it, the blessings of the Lord gonna make rich, and, 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 and I, I really see that that's going to happen for a lot of people. That the blessing of the Lord is going to make a lot of people rich. The blessing of the Lord is going to make you rich. The blessing of the Lord is not the blessing of mankind or somebody else. It's the blessing of the Lord. So that gift of people has part, uh, position, you know, you in. But God has a pure destiny for you. And where you are, you cannot stay at. You cannot stay in that place. God wants you to go higher. He don't want you to go back to what's familiar. Because what's familiar can't get you to where you're going. What's familiar can't get you back to where you're going in God. It won't get you going to where God has purposed you to go at in life. So when you connect it to the connector, I'm talking about connecting to God. Some that people have always said, I ain't never had nothing. We and everybody ain't never had nothing. Then they thought they got a little something and they everybody thought that's what that was it. But there's so much more than even that. That's good if you reach that level, but you can have it even more than what you had. That and some people won't do that, but that's that's good for the people who will. You know, there's some people that will do that and they get a hundredfold return. And I just believe it today. Oh God. God is really Stirred up the gift on the inside of me in many ways that I can't even, eyes can't even see, ears can't even hear. You know, they can't even, I haven't even, I didn't even plan to say this today, particularly on this particular platform that God has given me to really be able to do this. But I'm telling you that God is about to do stuff that it hasn't even, I mean, it's not even traditional at all. This is not traditional at all. I don't do this all the time as a habit. I don't speak on this, you know, on this level like this. But I'm telling you, God is about to pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. I think somebody, some people really need miracle signs and wonders and they don't believe that that's really going to happen. If you ain't never believed in your life. That God is that God can do the impossible, reach the unreachable, touch the untouchable. He's getting ready to, uh, he's getting ready to do that in your life, and that is the good news. There's nothing bad about that, but I'm talking about he getting ready to multiply whatever you give him. If you give him you, he gonna multiply you. You know he'll multiply you. Just give you if you ain't got nothing, if you ain't got a penny to your name. And you just say, God, here I got. He got some gifts on the inside of you that multiply that where you can go get the gift where you can bring something before him. Even if you don't have that, he just he, he would love for you to just sing before him, sing before him and see won't God pull you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. And he'll begin to make room for your gift and pull you out a blessing that you don't you couldn't even imagine the things that God is about to do for you and he's about to get ready to do it for you it only has to happen in the natural sense for your eyes to see at this level but all it has to happen is the way God wanted to happen you don't have to get it at all in your itty bitty mind you don't 
precisely can't get it because you ain't big as the universe. You know, to God, you look like an ant. Then that, that's the hilarious thing. You walking around like an ant to the God of the universe. So, or he say, huh, the canker worm and the palmer worm. So, if you like the canker worm and the palmer worm to God, come on. If you like the canker worm and the palmer worm, that's not that's not like an elephant, you know. That's like the, when it rains, you see the little earthworms that be running around. You see many of them. That's what he say you is. So, you know, if you oppose him, that's what he look at you like. He say, oh, that's just the palmer worm and the canker worm. They ain't nothing else. <laughs> so they trying to take this, that, and other. But God is getting ready to be so blessed. The good part about that, yeah, I don't want to stay too much on the, the bad side of it of what God has done because most people already got that already. They already got that coming for them. But it's the it's the good side that now people got to start to get now. To get the good side, He he's still really no reason with people, you know, to say, hey, I understand that you did, you all have robbed, robbed the, you know, purpose from him. You robbed him of what? Your tithes and offerings. So in the process of it, you know, and by that, you ain't giving him nothing. So that's why you ain't getting. That's why you got to go do something else to get it, you know. But if you would just give your harvest, the seed that he gave you, then he can pour you out a blessing that you don't have enough room enough to receive in the right way. And I just believe I declare it. I decree it now. I speak it. Be not though as they it were right now, I call it into existence in the atmosphere and through the heavens and through the earth right now that that, 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 that you begin to receive the blessings of God. That, 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 that God will pour you out blessings that you don't have room enough to receive. I'm talking about to the point you ain't even going to know what to do with what he gave you. It's going to be so much, even if it's information, if it's uh, opportunity. I'm talking about as a creator who can create what's creative on the inside of you. You can create so much, but God is about to create so much more for you. I'm telling you, he's about to create so much more and for you. He got more planned for you than you got planned for yourself. And if you can really connect to that point, you will be blessed. The blessings of the Lord will overtake you. It will be mind blowing. And he going to do it regardless whether we want to realize it or not. He's going to it's going to come to pass. Ain't nothing going to stop God's will from coming to pass. That's the truth of the fact of the matter is nothing. I mean, nothing that's going to stop God's purpose to come into pass for you in your life, no matter what has been said and what can be done. What God is going to fulfill is going to happen regardless to what it looked like right now. And I'm just believing it right now. And I'm doing this in the midst of a time where it looked like everything could be going another direction. But I tell you this by faith that God is getting ready to take his people to greater heights in him. I'm telling you, if you trust in the Lord, the name of the Lord, like Fred Hammond said, trust in the name of the Lord. If you trust in the name of the Lord, you can see the blessings being poured out over you. I'm telling you, you're going to be connected to the connector and you will never, ever see place regardless to what people think is going to happen. It's going to happen. You got a greater level. You got a greater success. You Where you are at right now is not where you're going to stay at. But I work together for the good to them that are called according to his purpose. Then watch this. If that be so, then everything that comes the, 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 your direction and every like that, it, it will, you know, you're going to begin to see 
something that you never saw before. I'm talking about blessings. Blessings. 